Hey, Orcanistas! Welcome to the channel Forever Orchids. My name is Tracy. I just showed you guys a quick little video of what happened in my outdoor grow space. Yeah, I don't know, wind, something. It was really, really strange. Um, so, what we're going to do right now is I need to repot these plants that have fallen off and broken. And since I recorded that video, I had another plant today fall. And it was the chysis. And so we're going to repot these orchids. Now, it is early September in the Northern Hemisphere. And temperatures are getting cooler. Orchids are going to start going, mm, you know what? We need to rest. We're, we're going to stop growing. So it's really not the best time to repot. However, if the clay pot, that my chysis was sitting in was broken to smithereens. <laughs> uh, I need to do something, right? Okay, so let me get that particular plant. Uh, and I've already chosen the pot we're going to put it in. It was in a four inch pot. Now we have another plant that fell, the Elaine Taylor. We're going to get to her and we'll set her off to the side. And I'm going to get the chysis here. So, hot, just smithereens. Yeah, I mean, no salvage in the pot whatsoever. And I hated that because I was getting new root tips to start growing. Um, let me see what this is here. You know what? What is this? <laughs> Ooh, what do we have down in here? I do not know if this is a root mass yeah it is kind of a root mass okay um i recently got this from carter and holmes and bridget had taken the plants and put them in chunks of tree fern okay so what i think i may do looking at this is i've got look here i've got some attachment to roots that are on this clay shard if i can get the whole thing down in this pot here that's what we're going to do. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to fill it up with uh, some lava rock on the bottom that will weight down the pot. Maybe I'll get lucky and it won't blow over again. And then I'm doing the best I can not to disturb the roots. They've already been disturbed. I get it. I get that. But see, I had new root tips growing here and here. And right here, right here, so I've got a lot of new root tips that were starting to grow with the warm weather uh, after I got this. Oh, look at that. Fuzzy. Look at these chysis roots here. We need to take a picture of this because chysis roots are fuzzy. They're not like your typical phalaenopsis and your cattleyas that have the white vellum that's really smooth. These are really fuzzy. But we're going to pop this little baby up. So I went ahead and got some smaller lava rock here out of a bag that I have of larger pieces of lava rock. And I'm going to put that in the bottom for drainage. I don't want the tree fern. and The chunks of tree fern aren't going to fall out. But what I'm going to do is put in a good one to cover the hole down there just so tree fern doesn't fall out. All right, let's see what this looks like now. Find a place. Eh, we could do it that way. Might be best to let, like only put tree fern, at uh, tree fern, <laughs> only put the lava rocks where it'll be kind of under here. Let this little lip here go all the way down into my pot. and It'll sit, I think, better. Okay, just not going to sit down in there. That's, that's probably the best we're going to do. That is the best we're going to do, I believe. So, yeah, I wanted some more lava rock down in here. Anyway, what I was, what I'm going to do, I could put some of the smaller pieces around the sides here. 
but I'm going to fill in the rest of here with tree fern. I don't have the chunks of tree fern. Sorry, that lava rock's making a lot of noise. I don't have the chunks of tree fern, but I do have um, the shredded tree fern. And so I'm going to move this out of the way here, keeping our tags here. So I'm just going to fill in with tree fern. So let me get my container of tree fern. Hey, look at this. I was able to push this little clay pot down here. It won't show quite as much. And I've got my shredded tree fern that I'm going to fill in. I hope this is okay. I don't know. Like, is this okay that this is up so high? I don't know. Just this lava rock is just causing an issue here. But I wanted some of that down in the bottom. Let's try to weight the pot down. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now, I think. Here, let's see here. I could soak this, figure out what root. Yeah, might as well just pull it off. It was just one root. And it had a new growth. It is what it is. We just needed to do this. Then I can get this, get this lava rock the way I want it. Just to make sure I'm weighting down the pot. There's not a lot in here, to be honest. But I like that a little bit better. Now I'm going to fill in with my shredded tree fern. Around the rest of the pot here. And I've got some um, that I use in my pottery studio is just some plastic Chinese uh, chopsticks. And that'll help me push down the tree fern around the side of the pot here. A little messy here. No doubt about it. Now I'm just gently tapping the top here, get some more of that tree fern running down the side of the pot, filling in the spaces here, packing the whole thing with tree fern. Then I'm going to have to uh, do what I've already done. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at, looking at you in the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm just watching what I'm doing here. Um, I will soak this in some kelp pack. I really do think that's probably what has helped this plant here and the new roots that are growing in it is that um, when I first got it, I soaked it in kelp pack. So what I will end up doing is soaking this in uh, seaweed extract when I'm all done here. I really feel like that's what's helped get this plant to start these new roots is because when I got it so that it wouldn't be stressed from being shipped. It wasn't shipped. I'm sorry. Uh, it, I picked it up from, from uh, Bridget when she came nearby. Uh, so anyway, losing my train of thought here. I will soak this. I do think that has helped initiate these um root tips and that's what we're going to have to do is soak this in kelp pack i did have some damage to some of the leaves when it fell but that'll be okay that'll be okay i've got a little bit more space here i want to get some <coughs> i think i got some tree fern dust get some uh, tree fern down in so i'll get a little bit more finish filling this in 
and the whole thing's just going to be packed in tree fern. And we'll see what happens, but uh, they, they don't like to have their roots disturbed. So we're going to hope for the best on that one. Let's set this one aside here. Now we've got to deal with, whoops, tags. I know this is a kysis, but let me go ahead and get my tag back in there. This is actually the new tag here. This one is the one that says Kysis Peachy Keen. That was a new tag here. This one here just represents the cross. So we really don't need that one because the cross is written on this tag here. Okay? All right, so we're going to set our Kysis aside. All right, Miss Elaine Taylor here. So, wind blew it over. We got us a nice little mess here. Really wasn't established very good. We had some lava rock down in here. Lost some bark. So that's what I'm going to do is just get some more bark and add here. You know what? Actually, what I think I'm going to do, this is a dried pseudobulb right here. Rotted off a little bit. It's really mushy. I'm just going to pull that off. I do have some new root tips. See, the plant was doing so good, and I just, oh, kills me that wind just knocked it over. And I did have lava rock down in the bottom of this one. But we lost our bark. I mean, I've got sphagnum moss. I don't know that it'll help. I could put some lava rock back down in here. Since it's sitting in front of me, at least that'll hold the plant up while I get my bark. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll just top this off with some bark. Uh, and see, I've got a new root coming out right here. Oops, oops, oops. Let me hold the plant here. There's a new one coming out right here. So I've got this where it's a little bit. Rhizome is still above the rim. We're just going to put some bark in here. Probably a handful will do. Just get a handful here. Be mindful of that root tip now. If you start popping your bark down in here with your fingers and you get pretty forceful and you don't pay attention to that new root tip here, you're going to break it off. And I'm going to do my chopstick just to go around the side a little bit tapping tap 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 tapping some of this bark down try to keep it in the pot now what i may do and i do have some dried roots here we need to clip off all right what we need to do I think may help. See how wobbly this is in the pot because it hadn't got established the first time I repotted it. Um, is I think I need to get a a rhizome clip, okay? And get this down in here. Now, what I'm going to do is the rhizome clips that I currently have are for they are specifically for terracotta pots. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, heat up an ice pick with my torch. I can put a little hole here through the plastic and I can put my rhizome clip through it. I could also do this with twist ties and I might end up uh, just doing that, getting my hole going and just twist tie and come across this way. Let me pause the video right here. Let me go get some supplies. I'll be right back. And let's do that. I think that's going to be the better way to anchor this down into the pot so it's not so wobbly. See, see how this whole thing just wobbles and wants to just fall out of the pot? And I can tell you what, Miss Elaine Taylor's not happy about that. They really want to feel secure in their pots. So I really think it's going to be best if I get some sort of clip, something to get this down in here. 
and that's going to be the best thing. So let's work on that. Um, ice pick should be in my drawer here. There we go. So what we're going to do is drill us up, not drill, but I'm going to heat this up and it's going to go right through and melt this plastic. And I'm thinking I will run me a clip here. Maybe, or I might need to do it something like this. Get this pushed down so that she's more upright like this. Then I think it's going to be best if we get our clip running in between this pseudobulb and this pseudobulb and get it tied down that way. So that gives me my direction. All right, let's see how this works now. I'm still a little unsure using this rhizome clip here for my terracotta pot, but I don't, I've now thought about it and I don't think the twist ties that I have are really going to work. Can you just I need to get my tip here? I don't know what did I say? I was going to go that way and just melt that. Look at that. Ooh. How it just melts the plastic. Okay. Okay. Down. And then see how my rhizome clip now fits right in through there. Okay. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bend the end of my rhizome clip into kind of like a little hook shape here. Didn't mean to twist it the way I did. A little straighter. Okay, let's see if this works. So I'm going to put this through my hole here. And then I'm going to run it through my pseudobulbs. I need to keep on working with my clip here. It's still twisted. I don't, might as well straighten it out somewhat. Okay. What I've done now is we started with this bend. Well, now I have put about where the rhizome, uh, where all these pseudobulbs are, I put another little uh, hump, little, little curvature there. All right. So. I'm going to put my finger down on my rhizome, hold the plant in place, take my rhizome clip here that I've just put through. Uh, you know, I've, I just showed you how to put the hole through the plastic. So I'm going to bring this through, go through my rhizomes. <laughs> I'm trying to get it coming through right here. Okay. So let me get it going through there. Okay, now I've got it going through. Okay, now I'm holding the back of this rhizome. Back here was that little dead piece that we put off, took off. So I'm holding that and I'm pushing my rhizome clip through the hole. And then what I'm going to do is just keep pressing all of this, just keep pressing it down. And then it's, it's kind of poking in on the plastic here, but look at my rhizome, look at my plant now. Not as wobbly, not as wobbly. And you know, if I wanted to, I could put a hole right there and push this through. I don't know that I am because I'm pretty much getting exactly what I want out of this rhizome clip right now so that she's not wobbly. Not as bad as she was. Not as pretty. <laughs> and then again, I could put her in terracotta. And we might end up doing that. I just noticed that the plastic pot now, when it fell, that it did get cracked. So, ah, uh, the joys sometimes. <laughs> of growing your orchids and trying to take care of them.
Thank you.